Welcome back to another video where I'll be ranting and or rambling about things that bother me or that I just can't stop thinking about. My name is Ven and I do videos. <laughs> I've been doing this for two years. Anyways, hello, welcome. Today, I'm just gonna be talking about what's been going on on TikTok lately, specifically with that one artist who I will not name because they've already got so much unnecessary attention on them. I am aware of their pronouns, but I'm not gonna say them because once again, I don't want them getting that attention because they've already, yeah, you know, you, if you know, you know. So, Lately, I think yesterday, I actually saw the original video on my For You page, and I I scrolled by it. I didn't actually watch it. <laughs> I didn't watch it at first when it popped up. I kind of just did that mindless scrolling thing, where you just kind of scroll mindlessly on TikTok on the For You page. And I didn't hear much of it, but I kept seeing videos and memes of people mocking that video. And I was like, what is this about? And I knew it was about, like, body types and drawing, um, heavy set characters. And I was just like, oh, okay, whatever, it's just a new weird little fad going on about people making fun of someone, okay, whatever. I didn't really care that much at first, because I was like, I don't care, I don't get into TikTok, Twitter drama, whatever. But then, today, as I'm still scrolling through TikTok, I actually... I kept finding this, the same formatted videos of making fun of this this person, and I was just like, okay, what it, what is going on? I looked at the comments, found out who they were, looked at their account, and watched your actual video, and I was like, oh, oh, is this what y'all are making fun of? <laughs> like, it's just kind of, it was just kind of weird how I found out about it, even though I literally, basically, almost saw the video <laughs> yesterday prior to recording this. And I have to say, while I, I am aware of how TikTok and most social platforms are, it's all it's very disappointing in how they treat artists nowadays. Sef spe well, specifically young artists. And as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure this artist is young and has is just experimenting with things like many other younger artists are. I don't know if they're self-taught. I don't know if they've were inspired. I don't know. I don't know anything about them. But all I know is they don't deserve all the hate and bullying and everything else that's happened to them. I think it's kind of messed up. I'm not really entirely sure how old they are. Some people say they're at least 16, but I'm not too sure and I wouldn't want to try and guess either but they are young as far, as far as I can tell and they're learning how to do different body shapes and if you like if you saw the video the reasoning behind it was because of someone in their life that was toxic that um that restricted them into not drawing that specific body type because they were worried about the response or the backlash they might receive if if they didn't do it the right way or if they made a mistake which basically is kind of what happened <laughs> anyways when they posted that because they clearly don't have experience in drawing heavy set or plus sized characters so when when they posted that and people responded in a negative way that's what basically caused the entire drama to sprout and, and it's just like there's a, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not the biggest fan of TikTok and or Twitter I left Twitter during 2020 and I resisted going on TikTok I avoided it like the plague and I still do with Twitter and, of course, I folded and, and made a TikTok account, but that's besides the point. And, and just seeing things that go on, on on TikTok, sometimes every everything on TikTok either feels like a virtue signal, always feels like a smear campaign, there's always something going on 
whether it's within the art community, the LGBT community, the freaking Christian community over there, just any any community on TikTok. It's always something going on, and I hate it. And people always, how I say it, people always want to say something, say everything that's on your mind. You don't need to respond to everything. You don't need to interact with everything. You can just move on. And I wish people just 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 stop just don't what is wrong with you <laughs> it's like i don't know it's so weird how tiktok culture is and i don't like it because people always feel like they need to include themselves in everything sorry for my tangent there but i i just don't like it and for people specifically in the art community to just go after this person is just so it's hypocritical because in one way they're like oh we young artists are just they're just experimenting they're they don't know how to do things they're they're, they're learning but when a, when a young artist starts to experiment and try and train themselves into drawing what they want to draw or potentially misrepresent something that they want to draw or p other people like drawing people get mad at them <laughs> and it like drives me up the wall because i'm like you said you said that it's fine they don't it's like it's like a baby being just born and they don't even have no cognitive ability to understand what's going on around them and you and it's like you expect the baby to know everything like you just as soon as it comes out of the wound you're like what political what what political sphere are you on do you understand the the ramifications of your actions and the baby is just like It'll say nothing because it doesn't know anything. <laughs> and it's just like... That's... That, I don't understand. I, I really don't. It's like, you, you expect the young artists to know everything when they, when they don't. You expect them to know how to draw everything when they don't. And they're learning how to draw those things, but when they don't draw it the right way or the way that you deem is right, you get upset. And then you flame them for not drawing it the right way. Or not doing it properly. And I'm just like, oh god. It's so it's so just so virtue signaling and just I don't understand it. As a as a self-taught artist, I still don't know how to draw everything. I I don't know how to draw plus sized people. I still try. One of my characters, if quite some of just a couple of characters they're they're plus size and i don't draw them as much i still love them though i love i love those characters so much i just don't draw them as often because i'm always thinking of other things and there's some things i just don't draw at all because i'm like i don't need to draw them it's just let people draw what they want to draw as long as they're not being offensive or hurting anyone i don't know it's just so unnecessary to just keep flaming someone who doesn't know who just doesn't know anything especially if they've gone through such a traumatic experience where it takes them a bit to adjust to or try and like you know maneuver around it in order for them to be comfortable and plus the fact that they stepped out of their comfort zone even after that bad event or a bad experience left their comfort zone in order to try and draw something like that it's kind of motivating because some people just kind of just accept it and just kind of roll and not really do much with it. Well, they, they just, despite their bad experience, they still drew it. It might not have looked good. And I know people were making fun of it saying, oh, they just, they just squashed the character a little bit. Okay, well, it's, some people are saying it's the bare minimum. Yeah, it is the bare minimum, but at least they're, they're stepping out of their comfort zone. I don't know. Some people may- some people on TikTok may flame me for that. <laughs> some people may just not uh, accept my opinion. Honestly, I don't even know why I made this video. I just felt like making it because I was just like, I'm just annoyed with how people on TikTok, especially within like people in the TikTok art community, I don't understand how they- why they treat artists the way that they do. Especially if it's coming from people that don't even draw themselves. 
the same people that are like, oh, I can only draw a stick figure, and then they're judging someone who can't draw a plus-size person because they're scared to, and then get mad when they don't do it right. And I know it's all about, use references, use pictures, look up how to do it. Yes, I'm sure that is a very valid response to giving criticism, but there's different ways to go about it instead of bullying and demeaning someone because they didn't quote-unquote do it right. I know that this person has a lot to learn when it comes to drawing, and I understand. I just want people to just be respectful. It's just... It's not that hard. <laughs> it's... It's really not that hard to be a decent person on the internet. I mean, I understand the internet is a shit show. It's always been a shit show since the beginning, and it always will be. But that doesn't mean we don't we have to treat everyone like crap and to demean someone because they don't follow your standards. I, I just I don't get it. <laughs> this is why I avoided making a TikTok, or at least going on TikTok for like two years. Cause I was like, eh, it's a cesspool. Same with Twitter. Yeah, I still went on TikTok because I was like, I'm bored and I just wanna make posts. I don't care what happens, what's being said, or what what occurs on that app. I just want to make content and have little funny laughs and mindlessly scroll for three hours. But to deal and just like, just to witness this whole thing go down, just kind of like, it's like, really? Are you serious? We as a species have regressed back to monkey. Like, I just, I'm sorry, I was a joke. I, whatever. Anyways, the moral of this entire thing it's just to respect people. That is just the most general thing I could just say, is just respect people. And to be just, I don't know, actually give criticism instead of just resorting to bullying. Because that doesn't help. But that's just me. That's just my take. Some people will not agree with me. And that's fine. I don't care. I am my own human being and you are your own human being. We all have free will. I don't care. <laughs> All, I, all I'm saying is just just respect people, especially younger artists who don't know what they're doing most of the time. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I came out relatively fine. Anyways, um, I did not expect to make this video. I honestly don't see myself making videos like this, unless it's something that really bothers me, and this was one of them. I don't see myself becoming a drama commentator or a drama channel or anything like that. I just want to draw and mindlessly ramble about other things that are important to me and that bring me comfort instead of this petty stuff that goes on on the internet. Yeah, this is this is what I this is the video. And I hope that this person is okay and that they recover from this. I genuinely hope this doesn't ruin their creativity or their passion to draw. And I hope things go well for them. And I hope they also improve because, you know, they, they can learn. They can learn. I believe everyone's capable of learning and improving as long as they themselves put in the effort and put in the time to learn. They can definitely go far with their art and their career if they ever want to pursue it fully. So that's just... That's... That <laughs> sound like critical. That'll be it for me. See ya. No, I'm, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and then come follow my TikTok, follow my Instagram, even though I don't post on there. Tumblr, maybe. And like, comment, subscribe if you want to. You have free will. Bye-bye.